So, it's a very cold start on this thing. About minus four last night, according to that, it's up to about one degree. Although it has just gone to two, but that's because I had it in my hand as I walked through the house. So, that's actually still good. Frosty, frosty. Very frosty, frosty. Actually, quite like it like this. It's nice and bright in here for a change. That does absolutely fuck all. Make sure I've got some fuel pressure first, because I know I'm very low on fuel. That was me, that was it, trying to die with lack of fuel now, put my foot down to keep it running. Well, hey. It started, it ran, it's good enough for me. Well, hey, mess. It's only a mess because... Bum, 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 I've been playing around. Some people want to listen to their iPod, or their phone, whatever, their music device, on their radio in the car. Unfortunately, their radio doesn't have a provision for it. Which, mine, now does, because I've modified it. As you be able to hear... Now, let me just change the station, sir. Because, uh... They can't bugger me over with static. I can ever find... Fucking static radio station. There you are. Just noise. That's quite loud, but you can hear that that's quite quiet. That's because the radio output, there's a little board along here. There's a main board here, which usually then above that, the CD bell, uh, the CD pad don't work because it's got water damaged or something, it just keeps coming out with error 7 which, don't know what that means, but anyway so can't listen to my CDs properly anymore and, to be honest, I don't want to have, every time I put new music on my computer, which I'm always doing, always having new music, and I want to listen to it on my radio I have to make a CD, and other than the fact that it's rather annoying, it actually can get quite expensive so, um, my solution was to open it up, now the CD player doesn't actually work and I went to the, I started looking around, found the amplifier board, the amplifier piece at the back, found the inputs, and I run music to it, and it would actually run it out. But, it didn't have any volume control. It was basically whatever you put into it. So if you actually adjust the music, the volume on your iPod or something, it would turn it down like that. And I didn't want that. So, <coughs> I thought, right, I'll go to the, uh, um, output on the radio, just because there's no labelling on the, output for the CD player and if the CD player is not being used and it keeps coming with error 7 it automatically puts it back to the radio anyway so um, I went to the radio found the outputs for the speakers which are these and I soldered some wires hmm Right. so that's a video on my iPod I'm watching it on YouTube the reason I am I'm in the car. So, turn this on. Wait for the radio to fire up. There you go. Fuck off. So, now, oh, we'll do this. Hey. Right, um, you see, I've got the wild shows. Up here, up here, runs up behind all of this to my radio. So now I can go and I can whack my music ahead on, stick it in here, 